I'm just curious if you if you were Trump's vice president on January 6th, would you have done what Mike Pence did? Well, I, I think that all the speculation about who's going to be in the cabinet, who's going to be vice president is just a distraction from what has to happen, which is the party's got to focus on Donald Trump winning in November. I mean, he, he's got and have so many people that want to serve in this administration uh, that he's going to be able to pick the people at, of his cho choosing and choosing at the time that makes sense for him. Uh, and I think Republicans need to stay focused I under, on that. I understand that. But but you are on the short list. You're a name that I hear from sources that they talk about. Do you think that Mike Pence did the right thing that day? Well, I don't know if I'm on the short list or not, but I, I do know that what this election is going to be about, uh, it's going to be about the things that matter to Americans. And when you've got our economy right now that's been juiced by uh, the trillions of dollars of spending, I mean, the actual economic growth of the actual economy, of the goods economy. Can we all just acknowledge that your previous guest would not answer the question about certifying a legitimate election? Uh, look, that is really at the heart of this. Joe Biden won tonight. We knew months ago this is going to be a binary choice between decency, protection of democracy, protection of reproductive freedoms, and the absolute chaos you see of a Trump administration. And having a governor on and being asked a very simple question about constitutional responsibility and pivoting to some non sense. Here in Minnesota, we're a broad party. I've been through this. We know that there's folks expressing their opinion. We're not even Democrats. We're Democrat Farmer Labor Party. And so I'm really pleased with the way the president did. We're going to work hard for him here. We know that the path to the White House leads through the, the Great Lakes states and uh, Joe Biden will win in November.